when we use this type of ordinary gate or globe valve we normally get some leakage of fluid through this gland packing if the fluid is non toxic and non hazardous then it is okay because it will not be harmful to atmosphere and harmful to plant operators but when the fluid is very much toxic and very much hazardous like hydrogen sulfide like methyl isocyanate so little amount of leakage of the fluid through this gland will pollute the atmosphere and will be very harmful to the plant operator then we require zero leakage or emission free valve to get emission free valve we have to provide bellow sealed valve bellow sealed valve means one bellow is provided inside the valve like this say this is the metallic flexible bellow it can be compressed it can be expanded this is the metallic flexible stainless steel bellow bellow is provided at outer side of the stem and below the bellow one plate is provided and this plate is welded with the bellow as well as with the stem like this and another top plate like this this top plate is welded with the bellow and this top plate is extended up to valve body bonnet joint where it is pressed like this this is the top plate of stainless steel and this top plate is also welded with the bellow like this this is the top plate of stainless steel and this top plate is extended up to body bonnet joint and compressed at body bonnet, bonnet joint like this and welded to upper portion of bellow and lower portion of bellow is welded with bottom plate like this and this bottom plate is welded with valve stem like this now the valve is in fully closed condition so bellow is like this when the valve will be opened then this wedge will come up then the bellow will be compressed so in this case the operating fluid that means toxic and hazardous fluid remains within this valve body bonnet cavity like this in this zone fluid remains so fluid cannot go through the bellow and cannot go through the packing gland packing so there is no question of leakage in this case the packing is called secondary sealing and this bellow sealing is called primary sealing that's why this is called bellow sealed valve or 
जीरो लीकेज वाल्व और इमिशन फ्री वाल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ बेलोसिल वाल्व इज ओनली पॉसिबल फॉर गेट ग्लोब एंड एंगल वाल्व फॉर अदर वाल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ बेलोसिल वाल्व इज नॉट पॉसिबल एंड एनदर इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट when the valve is opened or valve is closed then the stem rotates like this like this but since the bellow is welded at top plate and at bottom plate with the stem so bellow should not be rotated along with the stem for this reason for bellow seal valve one special nut should be there in this zone above the nut there will be rotational movement in this area and in this area there will be only linear movement so that bellow along with the stem in this zone will not rotate only it will move up and comes down This is one flanged end stainless steel ordinary globe valve. Flow comes like this, this, then this. This is the arrow. So, in this ordinary globe valve, there may be some leakage through this gland packing portion here. Now, let us see how easily we can convert this ordinary globe valve to bellow sealed globe valve. Now I am opening the body bonnet joint. so this is the disc and this is the stem of the valve now i am removing the disc like this disc is removable now since uh, this is an ordinary globe valve so there is a chance that fluid can pass through this gap and leak through this gland packing area to make this valve zero leakage emission free bellow seal valve first we provide the top plate stainless steel plate and this plate will be placed over this body bonnet gasket joint this is the body bonnet gasket joint so this is the stainless steel top plate then i am providing the bellow like this this is the bellow now i am providing this bottom plate and this bottom plate will be welded with the bellow and will be welded with the bottom portion of the stem here then the disc is provided like this so this is the assembly of bellow seal valve now fluid will remain inside this area and fluid cannot go through the bellow to the gland packing area now the valve is in fully closed condition that's why hand wheel is here now i am opening the valve slowly like this you can see this bellow will be compressed you see the bellow is being compressed and valve is getting opened like this like this bellow is getting compressed and valve is opening like this like this so this ordinary globe valve has been changed to bellow seal valve now i am mounting the valve again like this
So this is the fully assembled bellocil valve. Now I can close it like this, like this. Valve is closing in full closed condition and valve is opening like this. That means now bellow is getting compressed.